let's talk about LODs. LOD stands for Level of Detail. The level of detail is very important in making game assets, especially for Second Life and OpenSim. It determines how people see things from different distances. You set the LOD setting in your Preferences panel in your viewer. And in Firestorm, you can also use the Quick Preference panel if you use that. If you've been around Second Life for a while, you probably have a note card in your inventory that tells you how to make sculpts and mesh look better. And you can do that by turning your LOD setting up to 4, which is what most of those note cards advise you to do. Now that works, but it's very hard on your viewer. And realistically, there's no reason why we should all have to have our LOD settings up at 4 so that we can see things. So it is your responsibility, should you care to take it, to make your mesh so that most people can see it clearly. I'm going to use the last thing that I modeled, which is a backrest for the beach, to explain how this works. Now you can see that this is already a pretty low poly model. It doesn't have a lot of vertices connected with it. So that's a plus and that gives us a good starting point. Now if you want to be the best little mesh maker ever, you will learn how to make your own LODs. I'm not going to teach you how to do that because I rarely make my own LODs. I prefer to start with a very low poly model and then I have fewer issues. Also an option. Meanwhile, what I'm going to try to explain is why you care about the LODs, how to test, and the different ways that you can use the uploader to do a fairly good job without your own custom LODs. Remember along the way, as you watch other video tutorials, that the subsurface modifier and other things that make uh, mesh very, very dense are not good for Second Life and OpenSim. So keep that in mind as you're modeling and try to end up with a low poly model before you even get to the beta grid. One thing that beginners do is they make the silly assumption that the defaults on the uploader will do a good job. Usually that means medium sized things like a small house or something like that. But for very small things, very large things, you can almost always do better just by changing the different settings within the uploader. So I've made two models, one using the default setting, and you'll notice that I made my own physics model in this case. I didn't use a cube. You could use a cube. That's a viable choice. But I wanted you to know that you could have a physics model, and we'll, go, we'll talk about that more later. I also made an example using high LOD settings for the top three settings and leaving the lowest setting the default. Now you'll be able to see a big difference between those two even though this is a pretty low poly model. In actuality the best settings for this is somewhere in between the defaults and the high LODs above and that is what I used when I uploaded it into Second Life. Over on the beta grid, I uploaded both models, the default and the high LOD, and both look just fine using LOD2 in the viewer up close. But let's see what happens when we cam out. Did you see that? The mesh begins to break up. 
Now this model did pretty well, really. It proves that using a low poly model is very helpful. So let's see what happens if we get something a little more complicated. The more complex and the more vertices, the harder it is to keep that LOD going at a long distance. Broke up again. One more test. I made a slightly ugly pedestal, but it at least is a different shape than what we used before. And we're going to try to see how this works out on the beta grid. I unwrapped it and added a material, so the models are basically the same except for their shape. Here we go. There we go. So the pedestal broke up before the backrest. I perform a test like this every time something gets uploaded on the beta grid. Sometimes many tests trying to find what the best setting would be. Again, you can make your own LODs. My test for myself is that I don't do as well as the uploader does most of the time, but that's all a personal thing. You can decide what you want to do. The most important thing in my mind is to make sure that you test. And if you have your LOD settings up at four, to turn them down to at least two and the world will look very different, you'd be surprised how much different your mesh might look.